Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Alright, the paper I've chosen today is 2023 June 3 2, and we're going to look into task for the spreadsheet. Alright, so let's begin. The Tawara Animal Sanctuary is currently running three projects elephant, monkey, and tiger. Income is from donations, and for each project, they record the amount spent on food, veterinary bills, and relocating the animals back into the wild. You will edit a spreadsheet for this data. All currency values must be in dollars and it must be displayed with two decimal places. All right, so this you need to remember. Let's start. Open and examine the file J2332 project in your spreadsheet software. Okay, let me open the file first. J2332 project. All right, there we have it. Align the columns so that all the text is fully visible. All right. Copy and paste the contents of cell A4 into cell B5. So you want to copy the content of cell A4 and paste it into B5. It's not cut, it's copy. Okay, so copy the content of cell A4, the copy, and paste it in cell B5. Paste. All right, next delete rows 3 and 4. So highlight row 3 and 4, right click on it, and delete the rows. All right. Next, place in header. Let's insert a header. Insert tab, header and footer. Okay, on the header, center align the header, the text spreadsheet prepared by. Okay, center align, type the text spreadsheet prepared by followed by a space your name center number and candidate number space name center number and candidate number then a space and a text on space on followed by a space today's automated date space today's date you click on the icon current date then a space again followed by the text at at followed by a space and then automated time space and click current choose current time all right so click on an empty cell it displays the date and time next to get back to normal view view tab normal all right Save your spreadsheet with the file name project underscore center number candidate number. All right, file, save as, save it as Excel workbook. Okay, save it as spreadsheet. And the file name is project underscore center number underscore candidate number. All right, next, merge cells A1 to N1. Okay, all these cells have to be merged. Let's start with A1 to N1. Highlight, merge. Next is A9 to A12. A9 to A12, merge. A13 to A16. A13 to A16, merge. A17 to A20. A17 to A20, merge. Okay, format the merge cell A1 to N1 to have a solid black background and format the spreadsheet to look like this. Okay, the first cell, you see the first column, we'll reduce the column size. But make sure the text is fully visible in one line. And then um, we'll have to fill row 1 with black color background and change the font color to white apply bold and increase the font size somewhere to begin with b and to end at column m okay 
next row one okay here row one all the text are bold highlight row one apply bold and apply the text to be in the center and middle so that these texts the merge cells the text are center aligned okay next row two all the text is bold and center aligned bold and align center next column b column b income expenditure total and balance are bold income expenditure hold the control key and highlight income expenditure total 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 and balance are bold align center okay center align is to all the cells align center all right next anything else okay row 7 and row 21 is not fully visible row 7 click on the line in between 7 and 8 and drag up the same thing for 21 click on the line in between 21 and 22 and drag up okay let's apply borders to the cells okay borders all borders okay now next okay there is highlight uh, the cells have been given background color month income project okay month project month income and then project expenditure hold the control key and highlight project and balance project and balance so it has been filled with a light gray color all right next okay i think there's no need of this uh border we'll take it off All right, yeah, supposed to be like this. All right, next, place in cell, place in appropriate cell functions to calculate the total expenditure for each project and for each month. Okay, you'll have to find where to place this function and it has to be the total expenditure for each project and each month. So you have expenditure for each project and it has to be done for each of the month so let's do for elephant so elephant the total expenditure for january is going to be placed in cell c12 so it's equal sum total highlight from c9 to c11 enter you get the answer there and it has to be replicated to all the other months so you click move the cursor to the bottom right corner of the cell click hold the mouse and drag it until december all right so the same will be applied for the remaining projects as well sum c13 to c15 and replicate the formula to december Again, the same applies to Tiger. Equal sum C17 to C19 and replicate the formula to December. All right, that's done. Next, place in cell 23, C23, C23. Okay, place in cell C23 a formula. To, it's a formula to calculate the balance for the elephant project in January this is the income for this project for this month minus 
the total expenditure for this project for this month. So it is equal the income for elephant. We are finding elephant. The income for elephant for January is in C4 minus the total minus the total expenditure. Total expenditure for elephant for this month. Total expenditure for elephant for this month is in C12. Okay, for January, C12. Enter. You get the answer. Okay, next. Calculate in cell C24 and C25 balances for other two projects. So the same thing has to be uh, done for the other two projects, that is monkey and tiger. So equal the total expenditure, the, the total income for monkey is in C5 minus the total expenditure for monkey is in C16. Enter. The same way for tiger, the total income is in C6 minus total expenditure is in C20. Enter. So you got the answer for the month of January. Replicate these three formula to all the other months. Highlight them and move the cursor to the bottom right corner and replicate it all the way until December. Okay, next, apply appropriate formatting to all the cells containing numeric data. So all the currency values here must be displayed in dollars with two decimal place. So highlight all the currency values, only the numeric values you highlight. Right click format cells, currency, choose the symbol dollar, dollar and leave the negative number to have a negative sign because we have negative values uh, at the bottom. Okay, so you don't change the format. Leave it to be, uh, uh, to have the negative sign. All right, next. Apply conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is this, okay? So apply conditional formatting to only the cells in the range C23 to N25. So let's highlight the range C23 to N25. So that if a cell contains a value, okay, they have given you a condition. The first condition is if the value is greater than or equal to zero, then the cell has a light green background with dark blue text. Highlight, go to conditional formatting, new rule, set new rule, choose uh, the rule type to be format only cells that contain, contain and leave it to be cell value. Between, change it to greater than or equal to because our condition, our first condition is greater than or equal to zero. So change that to greater than or equal to and type in the value here as zero. Okay, now go to format for the color, go to format and we know the formatting is it must have a light green background with dark blue text so the font color choose it to be a dark blue and go to the filter uh, fill tab here and choose a light green color click ok so it, so it shows the preview here so the condition is greater than if the value in the cell is greater than or equal to zero it must the cell must change to this format click ok there we have it okay so all the positive values will have the green background with blue color text okay now the next condition if the value is less than zero Okay, highlight, again the same range, conditional formatting, new rule, format only cells that contain, 
now the condition is less than less than so choose less than and type the value less than zero now go to format the formatting is it must have a red text on a white background all right so fill choose white background and go to font choose the font color to be red click ok ok again so there we have all the negative values that is less than zero to be uh, on a white background with red font place in your evidence document a screenshot showing conditional formatting rules cell ranges and formats okay so to get the uh, formatting highlight go to conditional formatting choose manage rules and there it shows you the values the format and the cells applied so take a screenshot of this take a screenshot of this window and then paste this in your evidence as step 13 okay so it's step 13 you will paste the screenshot here Okay, coming back to Excel, save your spreadsheet, print your spreadsheet showing formula, highlight the spreadsheet, formula tab, show formula, adjust the column size so that all the text is fully visible and then you must display the row and column heading, highlight, page layout, print, set print area, and then print the heading check print to print the heading landscape orientation change the orientation to landscape and then make sure the cells are fully visible and easily read so this is page one and then page two okay and then next so that's one printout Print your spreadsheet showing values, get back the values. Formula tab, click on show formula. It gives you back the values. Okay. Highlight the spreadsheet. Double click in between row and column. I mean row heading, uh, column headings so that the values are displayed. And then print on a single page landscape. Okay. Let's see how many pages. There are two pages here, but it has to be on a single page. So highlight print page layout set the print area go to page setup and scaling set it to fit to one page wide and one page tall and then row and column headings must not be displayed so untick print here for headings now if you check this will be your printout so that's your second printout okay and finally print your evidence as well file print choose a printer and print all right that's the end of this task i hope that was helpful see you guys in another video thank you bye bye